Hello guys, this is Alex from L3X Designs and um, I'm here to show you how to make real life 3D text uh, as you both can, th both can see me see me using in uh, my background right here and um, right here so um, if you want to know how to do this uh, go ahead and click the annotation which will be up here in the right hand upper right hand side of uh, of the video I will uh, get you right past the updates I'm going to give my little subscribers right now so um go click in that link if you're just a bypasser and don't want to hear me yab on um, about my channel so um uh, for all you loyal subscribers um I haven't posted much um I did a video showing that I would take a uh, two weeks time off but um it's gonna be a little there's not gonna be much variation anymore um because I'm I've started this new school you know web design and stuff so it it uh, takes a lot of my uh, time away than I had before so um uh, it's it I'll be back um you know doing a video one you know almost three times a week when I'm get have gotten used to no thanks why does this always happen to continue but um I'll be back posting three three videos a day another day a week um in not so much time I just need to adapt to the new um way of my spare time to be used um yeah, so uh, that's that, and um, what else? Yeah, I'm working on some current projects, so um, you'll probably also see me editing. And um, since my new school, which I'm going at to be uh, uh, to educate to be a actual uh, web designer, I'm going to uh, get a new PC in a few, maybe a week. Um, and it will have uh, every Adobe program on it so that will result actually in me showing you guys a lot of tutorials so no I don't want to um, so um yeah guys I'm going to show m much more tutorials when I uh, get this new PC it uh, from Adobe After Effects to Photoshop to actually Dreamweaver. I'm thinking of doing some uh, web tutorials on how to make your own websites, and uh, it's, it's gonna be all over the place with all these new tutorials that I'm going to make. So, um, if you're looking forward to that and you're not subscribed to me yet, um, click the gray button or yellow button. I can't actually remember what it is, but um. Just click the subscribe button, and you'll see me, see my uh, tutorials pop on your up on uh, your YouTube homepage. So um, yeah, so I guess all of you were here actually to just uh, see this come to life. Like you want to see how to make this 3D text look like it's actually on the road, which if I just um, delete the text. It's just a regular background with no text at all. So um, I guess you want to see the f the final product right here being tutorial to you. So uh, let's just start making a new new pro new thingy. Um, so let's just get the output right away. Um, I normally set mine to 1920 to time to 1080. And uh, we're gonna to go into effects, ambient occlusion, and just set that to 350, 335. Uh, I don't know to actually. I, I just always use that as a stock number. I don't know why, but yeah. And uh, contrast to 35, and minimum ray length to 335. So we're gonna close that down. Um, then we want to go down to the materials tab, double click, 
go into the material by double clicking, going into color, uh, click on the thingy here and uh, go into load image and you'll find a uh, find a road uh, or whatever it doesn't have to be in real life you can also use this for gaming pictures and all kinds of stuff just remember to have a uh, this doesn't work for you know to be behind a person then you have to do it over in Photoshop and that's what I, that's not what I'm gonna show so um, then just uh, open this and just say yes and then we have the material ready so then we're going to make before we, all, we uh, make the background we're gonna make it some text I'm just gonna put in little facts and put the depth to about 100 and um, find a uh, a font which does not have these spikes at the end so it will be much easier to comply so it actually looks like it's real and it, it actually stands on the road so now we're gonna make a, a plane just spam some nine some nines sounds like a retard when I say that um, I think that's it and then you wanna click on the light, go down to background, and take the material that we just made and put it on the background. Then we want to make a new material for our text so it looks, you know, shiny and looks good. Um, let's see, some reflection, not much about there. Uh, Let's put on some uh, luminance just to make it shiny. Um, I'm going to go down here. Um, let's just actually delete the plane first so we can uh, see the current project up there. And down. That looks good. Um, make the plane again. Um, There we go, and put it at the same level, and rotate, there we go, uh, bum, 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 bum. what, there we go, there, there should be, okay, good, um, then we want to cl right click on the plane, Cinema 4D text, oops, and go down to compositing. Then uh, you'll get this menu right here. Click on compositing background. Um, still be black and not black gray, um, and it doesn't have the same uh, colors as the background does. So you want to control and click on the material and drag it up to the plane then it should look like this. <sighs> My computer takes a lot of time to render, so... <laughs> but um, that's the final project, so... Um, looks pretty good, to be quite honest. Um, you can also just, you know, make some... Uh, it doesn't have to be text, it can also be... Um, um, effects like circles and spheres and uh, boxes all over the place you can mix them around with settings um, so if it's uh, an uneven um, ground that it's not a plane that it's actually standing on then I would recommend to go into Photoshop and use the brush the eraser and uh, find a grass brush or something alike and just delete the parts where so it actually looks real so that's how you do it it's pretty simple um, it looks good you can also have it as a background and you know looks good so um, yeah that's actually about it um, not much else um, uh, so um, please guys if you've made this far and you haven't you know fell asleep by my voice um, 
then please put on some comments in the comment section to let me know what I can do better in my tutorials and another thing uh, like or dislike I don't care which you're gonna going to pick because it actually just reminds me of that I have to be better at some point so thanks guys this is my little fix uh, I'll see you guys around bye